What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Arius and the Nation. And today, we have the biggest cup giant killing in history. What? Now, it's not killing a giant cup. And it's not the unaliving of a massive being. No, this is this is a lower, I guess, lower seeded team upstaging a let's say Premier League team. Alright. This is Manchester United <laughs> versus York City. Alright. I was intrigued by the last video I did, okay, which was Marine versus Totten, the the Spurs versus Spurs. All right, that was awesome. So this is I want to see if this goes through, but before we click over to the 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 video, make sure you guys like, comment, and more importantly, subscribe and hit that notification bell because, hey guys. You're in this journey with me. Hopefully you found me and never seen this channel before. So hope, welcome, welcome. Let's try to break this thing down. It's gonna, this is right on the lines, right along the lines of our, my personal football discovery, my journey. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get to it. And in three, two, one, let's go. So, a good evening from Rob Palmer as the teams take to the field. York City of the second division, a big night for them, taking on Manchester United. This is how United line up. Kevin Pilkinson in goal, the back four of Paul Parker at two. Dennis Irwin at three. Pallister, the captain, at six. Pat McGibbon will be wearing number four. Sounds like a boxer's name. In midfield, we'll have <laughs> Phil Neville, who was left back at the weekend, probably on the right wing tonight. David Beckham at eight and Lee Sharp at five in the centre of midfield with Simon Davis wearing the number 10 shirt, playing on the left-hand side of that uh, foursome. Up front, Ryan Giggs, 11. Partners Brian McClare back from injury at the weekend. And the substitutes tonight, Graham Tomlinson, the man who Alex Ferguson signed as a boy, really, from Bradford about 18 months ago. Steve Bruce. If the audio is shaky, guys, if it's coming through like it's coming through on my headphones, this thing is from 1995, okay? Give it a mulligan. <laughs> like, I'm looking at these guys and they're like all like pixelated. <laughs> like, come on. But, hey, he's throwing out some big names. David Beckham. I know that name. All right? All right. Let's keep going. But, yeah. So, 1995 video quality is what we got. Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Bruce and Terry Cook, no substitute goalkeeper. The York City team, a little unknown, but some very promising young players in their side. A very good goalkeeper in Dean Kiley, former Coventry player who was at Lillishaw with Andy Cole. They're McMillan, right back. Left back is Wayne Hall, receding hairline, but uh, does score the odd spectacular goal from distance. Cruel. Tony Barrett, six, and Steve Tuttle, the centre halves. In midfield, Graham Murty at seven, Darren Williams at eight, Nigel Pepper holds it together, the number four, Scott Jordan 11, and up front their top scorer, Paul Barnes at nine, and Nicky Peveril at ten, their substitutes, 12, Paul Barker, 14, Paul Atkin, and the substitute goalkeeper is Andy Warrington. Cool. <laughs> Receding hairline. <laughs> Barris to take the free kick, a former Stockport County player. Barnes. And an early shot coming in. It wasn't oh. far away from Scott Jordan. A nice little build-up. Obviously something York have worked upon. And Jordan almost found the hoop. McMillan, a height at the far post. It's not a bad pass in. Here's an early chance for Barnes. Oh, man. And he skewered it just the wrong way. 
A very experienced player, the York City number nine, who's uh, so, performed for okay. Notts County and Stoke City. Help me out, guys. He's worth a few. Help me out with this. Um, what, what league or what tier is York City at this time, 1995? What, what tier are they? Why is this a massive giant killing in the cup history? Please let me know. Please let me know. I read the comments. I'm, I'm in this to win this. Let's go. Just keep this. Please comment. Please enlighten me. Um, how massive of a moment this was. All right. Let's go back into it. Thanks. A few goals in the lower divisions. I imagine everybody in one of those blue shirts would like to take this free kick and score a goal at Old Trafford tonight. Paul Barnes, the number nine, looking the most likely candidate, but Pepper can hit them. Pepper does! Oh, dear me, Screecher! <laughs> Well, with a name like Pepper, that could have conjured up all kinds of headlines tomorrow. But that was some hot shot. <laughs> of course. The third or fourth of October. Now Neville. Beckham outside of him. Beckham's cross. That's a lovely little cross. A dangerous cross. And it's McLean. Oh, oh just tipped over the bar by Kylie. Man. They seem to be stuck in the air forever, that one. Good, confident tackle by McGibbon, the debutant. Beckham. Wow. He's trying to get Ooh. it to Giggs. Didn't quite fall. Oh, my God. <laughs> Great control by the man in the number seven shirt. Oh. No, it's not Canton yet. Wow. It's Neville tonight. Barnes. With a shot, takes a deflection. Oh, dear me. <laughs> wrong-footed Kevin Pilkington <laughs> and York City have taken the lead at Old Trafford <laughs> and boy is he happy oh my god he launched that dude he absolutely launched that I mean bear with me I'm gonna try to find it again because I'm, I'm not guys you guys know I'm not the tech guy I don't know the the hot keys the the shortcuts to rewind all right, let's try that. Let me see, let me see. Because he launched that thing. Barnes. Look at that. Boom! The shot takes a deflection. <laughs> oh, damn it! Wrong-footed Kevin Pilkington. <laughs> That's awesome. And York City have taken the lead at Old Trafford. Good God. And boy, is he happy. <coughs> wow. Well, you have to give credit to... Paul Barnes, who was all alone on the edge of the 18-yard box, thought it was worth wow. a try, chanced his luck, took a deflection, Man. completely wrong-footed Kevin Pilkington, and news will now be filtering around the nation of a shock on the cards at Old Trafford. Wow. Davis back to Irwin, it's a stretch for him. Beckham. Giggs. What's he got? A right foot. It wasn't far off. Ryan Giggs is getting better with every touch. <laughs> All right. It's Beckham. A late challenge from David Beckham and his. Uh, and to receive the yellow card for that, and maybe that was just a bit of frustration boiling over. Mm. Wow, look how young he is. David Beckham Jesus. won't be happy with himself, and I would imagine he'll get a flea in his ear from Brian Kidd and Alex Ferguson as well when he goes in for his half-time cuppa. <laughs> Second half. McMillan. Arms go up, asking for offside. He wasn't, and that's got to be a penalty. <laughs> well, it's got to be a sending off, unfortunately, I think, for Pat McGibbon. I don't think there's any other alternative for the referee. Barnes had turned him, and the referee has no option other than to show the debutant red. And the night, which was going to be one to remember for Pat McGibbon, 
has turned into a nightmare for Pat McGibbon. So he got sent off. It's Hold a on, long, come long out. walk the whole length of the field for the young Irishman. Time out. Why did he get sent off? What? I'm I'm confused. I thought it went yellow, red, out. Well, I guess I guess the referee can kick anyone off the pitch, or is or, or, I'm assuming rules have changed. This is 1995. I okay. I get that. I get that. But that was pretty flagrant. But I would assume a red card. Um, please let me know in the comments as well. Like why? Why did he get sent off? That is my biggest question. Um, because we've seen more heinous things in World Cup football, where they didn't get sent out; they just got carded. Um, and I assume that this compilation is just the shots on goal or the the, the moments, the highlights. Okay. I answer my own question. Apologies. Let's dive back in it. And the referee has pointed to the penalty spot. I think the incident was outside the area. No, it was Pounds in. Pounds is certainly taking the ball and putting it on the spot. There's a lot of argument. Now the replay, I'm sure, will show that the incident was originally outside. But the fact that Barnes tumbled inside the box is convinced the referee Barnes prepares to take his second he's looking for a second goal Barnes he's got it oh. and he can feel the tremor around Great Britain oh man York City are upsetting the apple cart big time wow Manchester United two goals down and down to ten men Ten this isn't so in the he script. Did. He did get ejected from the game. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Peppers cross. Easy for Bill Kidd. Oh. He's lost it. <laughs> oh, my word. It's 3-0. Hold on. Hold on. That was awesome. What? What? That came out of nowhere. Holy crap. <laughs> that was great. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that, that was awesome. I got to see that again. I know they're going to play a replay, but I got to see that again. That's crazy. Last thing before we progress is who of this Manchester United squad went on to do great things. I know David Beckham, uh, that's a staple in the football world. All right, at least over here, everyone knows David Beckham and because of that damn movie. But, yeah. Um, who else? Did anyone get picked up from this, from this York City team because of this? Did they, did any of the Premier League scout these guys that are on this squad and purchase them for their teams. Did any of these guys advance in their own careers uh, to become greats? Please let me know. Those are questions I just, I want to know. I want to know. Thanks. Thanks. All right, here we go. Look at that thing, man. Peppers cross. Boom! Look at this, he's lost it! Oh my word, it's 3 0! Wow! Deflating, deflating. Wow. Tony Barris rose above Kevin Pilkington <laughs> then. Oh my and that's going to complete a night of misery for Manchester United. <laughs> oh my word, what a shock. This is the stuff that Roy the Rovers annuals are made of. Wow. Man. Away York go, looking for a fourth. They can't quite believe there is. They've almost got one. Barnes is there, but he's offside. Oh. He thought he had his hat trick then. It was a hairline decision. And the Man. linesman on this side who gave a penalty to change the game. A spurred United a fourth with a 
Controversial decision in the eyes of the York centre forward. All right. Austin is interfering. Two goals. Oh. A terrible tackle. That's going to be a yellow. Yeah. Joel Pepper follows David Beckham into the book and of course Pat McGibbon as well and York make their substitution Paul Atkin comes on and off goes okay. their strikers Nicky Peverell 22 year old who's had a great game Wow worked very hard a night he's never ever going to forget a better catch and cross for Pilkington oh. runs into the substitute Atkin who to be fair to him couldn't really get out of the way there's a collision oh it's really petty refereeing that oh, really is uncalled come for on. nothing that Atkin could do to get out of the way there which I think Pilkington was pointing out to the referee that's silly oh come on <laughs> referee is going to referee, man. Just under half an hour gone of the second half. Oh, oh, come on. And the referee has gone card crazy this time Barnes no, it's not it's Atkin he's going to send him off what? oh dear me dear dear me referee <laughs> Paul Atkin who was booked for blocking the goalkeeper inadvertently two minutes ago he's now sent off for kicking the ball away it maybe was a silly thing to do the referee reduces both teams to ten men what? Palestine that's crazy that that can happen. Steve Bruce playing now as a centre forward. It's all hands to the deck. There's a chance. Ooh. McClare's in. Ooh. The angle's tight. Can he get it there? No, he oh. can't. <laughs> oh, that picture man. tells a very long and sad Manchester United story. Ill winds have been blowing against United. This is crazy. Superb at the weekend. Parker, the only man holding the fort at the back at the moment. I imagine it'll be a race to the tunnel for the United players when the full time whistle goes. And there it is. What a night for York City. Wow. One of the greatest nights in their history. They've beaten Manchester United by three goals to nil. A night of three goals, two dismissals. And it wow. ends in agony for number seven, Graham Murty, who's got a rather nasty head injury. Let's hope that it's not too serious. Oh, my God. And he can join in the celebrations with the rest of his teammates. It's almost the conger on the terraces. Those York fans are going to remember wow. this date, the 20th of September, 1995. One of the greatest nights in the club's history. They've still got to finish it off at Bootham Crescent. A great night for them. And Manchester United's players and management and everybody concerned will just think of this as a very bad nightmare. Well, that was awesome. That was, that was amazing. Let me stop the next one. I don't know why it's about to play. Let's go here. And let me, yeah. Well, guys, let me know what you think of that video. Let me know in the comments some some diff different things about the 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 team. Different things about the team that that beat Manchester United. Let me know different stats. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um let me know. Let me know where else do I go from here. Please let me know. Uh, make sure you guys are part of the community, not just the channel. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos like this. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Much love. 
I'll see you guys later.